installing the latest software straight out of the box on the DVAR IP all in one 7000. In this video, we will show the steps of the process of installing a system with the latest available software, starting from a factory default state. We will go through the following steps. 1. Starting the DVAR IP for the first time, and setting up Windows. 2. Downloading the latest system manager installation file. 3. Installing Bosch appliance and system manager update files. 4. Downloading and installing the latest version of BVMS. 1. Starting the DVAR IP for the first time and setting up Windows. Select your country or region, the desired operating system language, and the keyboard layout from the list, then click Next. The Microsoft software license terms are displayed. Click Accept to accept the license terms and wait until Windows restarts. This can take several minutes. Do not turn off the system. After restart, the Windows sign-in page is displayed. Set a new password for the administrator account BVR admin and confirm it. Then press Enter. The software selection page is displayed. Two. Downloading the latest system manager installation file. On a separate PC, open a browser and go to downloadstore.boshsecurity.com. Under the software tab, select BVMS appliances, then click select. A list of all available software packages is displayed. Detailed information about DVAR IP software can be found in the document DVAR IP Software Info Brief. Find the zip file for the latest version, in this case, System Manager 2.0.0. Details about the release can be found in the associated release notes. Download the update file. Find the file in your preferred download location and unzip it. We are using 7-zip for this, but Windows built-in zip functionality is also an option. Find the extracted files and copy them to a USB storage device. Make sure that the folder Bosch appliance is placed in the root. Remove the USB storage device from the PC and connect it to your DVAR IP all-in-one for the next step of the process. 3. Installing Bosch Appliance and System Manager Update Files The system will automatically scan the storage medium for installation files for Bosch Appliance. The scan may take some time. Wait for it to complete. Once the system has detected the installation file, it is displayed on the software selection page. If the file is located in another location than in the Bosch appliance folder, which should be located in the root of an attached storage device, use the magnifier to look for the file. In our video, the internal storage is on E. After some time, the files on G, the USB storage device, are also detected. Select the latest setup file, here it is Bosch appliance setup DSC1001. 0001. In this example we have the file available in two different locations, choose either. The installation starts and may take a few minutes. Do not turn off the system and do not remove the USB storage device. After the installation has been successfully completed, the system will restart and you will be directed to the Windows sign-in page. Sign in to the administrator account BVR admin. The software selection page is displayed, showing all DVAR IP system manager installation files in the system. We select the file for system manager 2.0, which is system manager x64 2.0.0, to install. Read the end user license agreement, then click accept to continue. The installation starts. After the installation has been successfully completed, the system will restart and you will be directed to the Windows sign-in page. Sign in to the administrator account BVR admin. 
The browser opens and the DVAR IP system setup page is displayed. 4. Downloading and installing the latest version of BVMS. Open a browser and go to downloadstore.boshsecurity.com once more. Under the Software tab, select BVMS Appliances from the list, then click Select. A list of all available software packages is displayed. Locate the zip file of the desired BVMS package, in this case BVMS 12.0.0 System Manager Package 1.0, and save the file. Unzip the files and copy to a USB storage device. Do not change the folder structure of the unzipped files. Once the files are copied to the device, plug it into DVAR IP. Now we switch back to the DVAR IP, where after a short detection period, the installation files on the USB storage device are detected. In this video we will install the BVMS operation mode. Select the operation mode, and the software version, if multiple are available, the click next. The BVMS license agreement is displayed. Read and accept the license agreement, then click install to start the installation. The installation dialog box shows the progress. Do not turn off the system, and do not remove the USB storage device during the installation process. During installation, the system may reboot once or twice. At the end of the installation, it will reboot and load into BVMS desktop. The system is now fully installed, up to date, and ready for configuration.